Hey gang, Bender here, coming at you today with a look at Spelunky. I just picked this up on sale from the Steam store, a holiday sale for $3.74. I couldn't pass that up. Uh, this is a, a quote-unquote roguelike platformer. Uh, they say roguelike in that there's a, uh, I guess there's a procedural generation of levels, there's uh, permadeath, and there's random loot and random encounters. Uh, so, uh, it is a real tough game. <laughs> I've played it a little bit so far, and uh, yeah, it's out to kill you at every turn. Uh, without further ado, let's go in and, and I'll uh, let you guys look at this with me. I've only played enough to really uh, just do the tutorial and get the hang of the controls. Uh, so, let's go ahead and run in on this. So you choose your adventurer. It can be one of four people right now and 16 more unlockables. Wow. Uh, let's be this dapper gent with the mutton chops and the piss helmet. He looks quite distinguished. Jump on in. And let's see what's up. Alright, this is the main uh, entrance level where you begin. Uh, this is the main entrance to the caves. Over here is the uh, tutorial level that I've finished. Up here is something that comes after I get through the mines, mine caves, uh, which I haven't done because I've just started. So we uh, enter in, and uh, I'm playing with a Xbox controller. Spooky, the walls are shifting. Uh, you can play with keyboard and mouse, or you can play with a controller. I'm playing with a controller. I think it's a little bit easier and more in the style of, you know, old school platformers to play with a controller. Uh, anyway, I've got a whip, and I've got, I can jump, and I can run, and I've got bombs and ropes. I can pick up objects in the uh, environment and toss them around, certain objects, that is. Uh, I can pick up this mouse. Let's pick him up. Come here, mouse. I have a mouse now. Push things and oh, bats, enemies. The uh, environment is totally destructible, which is nice. You can uh, drop bombs and blow holes in passages where you couldn't get through before. Ooh, I don't want that guy to fall on. Oh yeah. So uh, you have a rope, so you can climb on up. And you have bombs, so you can go on down. Oop. Oh, I thought that hit me there for a second. That was a close one. But the goal is to find the exit that is hidden somewhere in the level, usually at the bottom, but not necessarily always at the bottom. Oops. And, uh, you also want to collect all the nice loot with a bag of bombs. You want to collect the nice loot that's uh, available for you. Oops, that was a skeleton coming to life. See that dog up there? That dog is in need of a rescuing. Uh, I kind of want to go up there and rescue him so I can uh, show you what that's about. You can uh, take him to the end of the level and he will... Uh, give you bonus points. Uh, normally it's a damsel in distress, but I changed the options to make him a doggy. Because I think the doggy's cuter than the chick. <laughs> you can also jump on top of enemies. Pick up the dog, and carry him with me. Oh! Oh! I took a bit of a spill there, and uh, took a damage to my health. So yeah, you can fall and take damage. The enemies can damage you. Uh, let's put the dog down and uh, let's blast away. Oh, that's not a good sign. A terrible chill runs up your spine means here comes the evil bad ghost. And I don't like that guy. It's no fun. Let's see if we can dog him. Uh, oh, I couldn't make it over top. And that's it. You're dead. Game over. I didn't even make it past the first freaking level. I didn't even make it, what, two minutes? <laughs> so. Uh, well, you go again. Start again. And that's what this game is about. You just keep going and going. Excellent time waster. Wonderful. 
if you just need to kill some time, but it's also very addictive. And if you're like me, I try and get like all the treasure that I can. But you're kind of up against a time constraint, like with that ghost. That ghost is undefeatable. It's indefatigable. So, uh, you kind of want to hurry up. But the problem is, in hurrying up, you don't get all the cool loot. And the cool loot's what I like. No ropes there. There are treasure chests, and uh, some of them require a key. Most of them you can just whip open. Uh, some of them require you to find a key, pick it up, and bring it over to the treasure chest. So. They usually hold more loot. Hopefully, I can also show you a shopkeeper here soon. The shopkeeper uh, will sell you stuff, but don't piss him off. Oh man, I'll show you what happens when you piss him off. <laughs> there's the exit. Okay, there's no shop in this level. Throw this one. Oh, I guess the uh, mouse doesn't work as a weapon. Funnily enough, the pug or damsel in distress does work as a weapon. Oh, there's a pug over here. So we're going to blow our way through this wall and go get him. And I will show you what happens when you rescue the doggy. Come here, puppy! Just bring him over to the exit and he'll automatically go through. Ta-da! And now we'll go through the exit. And level one complete! There's the puppy. Gives me a kiss go through all the loot I grabbed and then it'll go through everybody I killed all the monsters and that's that now you continue on to the next level and it gets progressively harder and harder I hear snakes I hate snakes okay there must be a snake pit around somewhere there are also oh yeah enemies can be hiding in uh, in bottles or urns, so be careful with that when you're whipping those. I have a tendency to get going pretty quickly and build up momentum, and then I just run headlong through things and uh, end up killing myself. <laughs> uh, this guy down here, see that little tiki statue? Yeah, that does exactly what you expect it to do. It fires an arrow at you, so uh, the best way to deal with those is to throw uh, an object down there. Anything will trigger that, and it only contains one arrow. So once you trigger it, uh, you're good to go. The thing's not going to uh, uh, get stuck on that ledge. The thing's not going to fire again at you. Oh! There's that snake pit! Ooh. It fell right through. And now I'm on one heart, so yeah. One hit and I'm dead, and that's the end, and I have to start back all the way again at I have to start all the way over at the beginning and that's the roguelike I guess part of it oh there's a pick that pick is, is something let me see let's pick it up I've never gotten a pick before oh yes I can just dig oh this is the best upgrade ever oh yes I can carve my way through. Oh, see how the doggy's not moving? I accidentally killed him with the pick. So now he's useless to me. I can't get any bonus points for taking him through because he's dead. I did not protect him. So you kind of want to watch out for that. Get out of here, bat. With a pick. Oh, this is the best. Oh, I threw it for some reason. Hey. Come back. Oh, this is awesome. I can just carve through everything. That's the best weapon in the entire game, I think, so far, that I've seen. Ooh, spikes. Don't want to fall on the spikes. Definitely. Obviously, reasons. Uh oh. The, that sound means that the ghost is on the way. Fortunately, the exit's right here, so I'm just going to carve through. And when the ghost comes near, I'll just beeline to the exit, and that'll be the end of that. Definitely want to keep this. Though. Ooh, I 
can't carve up that way. Oh, there's the ghost. Let's get out of here. Through the exit. And we're on to level 1-3 with one heart. So that's uh, not good. So far, I have not gotten through these mines. I think there's four levels. I'm not sure. Before I make it to the next section. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, this game is brutal. And in the small amount that I've played so far, I haven't been able to. Uh, I haven't been able to make it very far. Ooh. Who's, who, who's this guy? Who the heck? Oh, he killed me. Dead. Arrow has pierced one of my vital organs. I didn't see an arrow, but this is neat because this the game will keep going while I'm dead, and people will keep kicking me across the screen and all over the place in that little window up there. It's particularly funny when uh, the shopkeeper does it because he just goes nuts. And we haven't even seen a shop yet. Let's go to quick restart, which will put us right back at the very beginning. One, one. So, running through this fast uh, is not ideal because you tend to uh, run into things, fall off cliffs, and as you see, I lost my pick. Blame. Uh, but I'm sure I'll find something else along the way here. You kind of want to take your time and be careful with this game, but that's not in my nature, really. <laughs> uh, so, you should see me die many times here. Alright, here is one of those arrow things. If you just toss a rock down there, it triggers it. And that's it. Now I can fall safely through. I can also pick up his arrow and throw it. But it doesn't do anything special, it's just like a rock. Okay, well, there's not much going on here, it looks like, so I'm just going to go ahead and get out of here and go on to the next level. I didn't make much money that time. But that only took me a minute and 15 seconds to get through. Let's skip ahead. I want to find... Oh, did you see that? <laughs> that was brilliant. I threw that rock to trigger the arrow. The arrow shot that spider that was hanging out on the other side there. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, this is nice. This is a uh, shrine to Kali, the goddess of war. If you uh, find one of those pugs or damsels in distress, oh, perfect. And we can sacrifice him. Let's go sacrifice a dog. I won't get the points. But I might get something good. So we put him oh! and bestowed a gift upon me. What gift? What did I get? Uh oh. If you can look below my little heart and below the bombs, right in the middle there, there's a little catcher's mitt. Uh that catcher's mitt enables me, I believe, to throw things further. But yeah, if you sacrifice the dog, you get a little, uh, you get a little gift. And I'd rather have the gift, I think, than the points. Oh! Oh, that was a long fall. But I found a shopkeeper. Here's a shopkeeper. Sells different things. Web gun. Uh, web gun shoots uh, spider webs. It's not really useful. Uh, the compass always points to the exit. That's pretty useful. Let's go ahead and buy it. And then, oh look at that, I won a, oh, <laughs> I won a raffle from the MIT, my uh, my group, my uh, Team Fortress 2 group. Uh, spike shoes, not sure what they do, climbing gloves, uh, I believe they let you hang on to things, obviously, like hang on to uh, different, uh, like I could climb up here and just grab on. I'm not sure though, I haven't really used them. As soon as I bought them, I died. But what I wanted to show you was what happens when you piss off this shopkeeper. So I'm going to toss a bomb in his shop and watch this. Whoa! He goes nuts. And he just keeps going. 
uh, that wasn't a really good, uh, really good uh, view of what he does. Uh, I'd like to find another shop and show you better just how quick this guy is. I mean, he is lightning fast, and he carries a shotgun, and uh, he does not show mercy at all. So you can uh, try and steal items from him. That'll set him off. You can uh, try and attack him or set a bomb off near him. It doesn't even have to be in his shop. It can be like, it doesn't even have to touch him. The blast could be just like next to him and he will freak out and start attacking you. Here's something new. What is this? What is that? Journal entry added. Let's look and see what that is. You can look in your journal and it will tell you the items that you have come across. It will tell you a little description of them. A freeze ray teleporter. Curious. What does it do? Oh. Oh, wow. That is a neat, useful tool. Huh. So, teleporter. This teleports you ahead at random places. Looks like you can get... Oh, I can go through walls. That's cool. Anyway, give me a second. I'm going to uh, take care of this trade with these uh, goodies I've won. Thank you, Gabriel, and congratulations on your tenure at uh, MIT. I believe he's been here three years now. Uh, I'm going to go see what I've won, and I will be right back. All right. Got that trade completed with Gabriel. I got a festive gerardi. Yes. Who doesn't like a Christmas jar of piss? <laughs> oh, this uh, this is an interesting device, this uh, teleport. I wonder if I can go down. Oops, no, that just throws it away. You have to press down to pick up items and drop items. Oh, good. Let's, let's really get this guy going. And I know exactly how I can do that. Whoa! First, let's drop this. Okay, I uh, want to show you this ferocity of this guy. I'll just like put a bomb. No, I won't even put a bomb. Yeah, I'll throw a bomb in there. Let's see what happens. You can just like Woo! 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 Look at him go! Look at him go! He just goes crazy! Look at that! <laughs> and he will continue to run back and forth at light speed shooting with that shotgun. He is brutal and one one shot and you're dead. So don't ever piss off the shopkeeper. It's, uh, <laughs> so this has been Spelunky, a first look with Bender, and uh, I definitely recommend it, especially at the Steam sale price of 374. Uh, it's definitely worth it. I haven't even made it past level three yet, but uh, I will keep trying, and I will make it. Oh yes, I will make it. <laughs> and. Hopefully you guys can join along in the fun. Uh, this isn't multiplayer online. It does have a local co-op, I think, for up to four people. So if you got some friends and you want to do like a LAN party, uh, this seems like it would be a really fun game to try. I would like to do that. Or uh, maybe you can do it over Hibachi. I don't know. Uh, worth checking out. But uh, Spelunky, worth it. Go get it. And, uh, see you guys later.